Today, we're going to talk about how you can value your startup quick and easy. Coming up. The problem you might have when you've got your startup is that in order to raise finance, you need to create a valuation of your startup. And this can be a problem because you have to create some quite complicated financial plans relying on lots of assumptions, which can then be challenged by any finance provider. So what I'm going to do here is give you a simple methodology that doesn't involve any speculative forecasts. What you might have done in the past is looked at some YouTube videos or read some articles about how to value a startup by some venture capitalists. And the one thing you might notice is that they never give a clear answer. It's always qualified or very cagey. And so what you really need is a simple formula and I'm going to give that to you. What I'm talking about here is a baseline valuation. So a valuation based on some real factors that can serve as a basis for any negotiation for a funding round. The concept on which this baseline valuation is based, it depends on two factors, the costs and the milestones. So what we're going to do is we're going to work out the total costs you've incurred to get to where you are in your startup. And secondly, we're going to add to that certain milestones you may reach or have reached, which will add to the valuation. So it's costs plus milestones. So talking about the second method of uh, adding value to the startup, which is milestones, we can divide the milestones into three types, uh, technical, financial, and, and marketing. So examples of financial milestones might be you've got a bank to do a, a, a commitment, the cash uh, burn rate has reduced, or you've got a grant from somewhere, these are examples of financial milestones, or you're reaching uh, some sales. Examples of technical milestone might be proof of product, building a prototype, having the prototype tested and validated by a third party. Marketing milestones might be market research, um, having hiring a marketing manager, and other measures like that. Firstly, talking about the costs. So the costs you might have incurred would be things like your time, uh, out-of-pocket expenses like travel expenses, the cost of acquiring equipment, cost of renting a warehouse or an office, for example, and other miscellaneous costs. And you have records of all these costs and you can add them all up. With regard to your time, you can take the daily rate of a consultant who would do something similar to what you've been doing and use that to tote up your time cost. Let's take an example of uh, a startup which I had some contacts with a few months ago, which was a group of three founders who set up a company to produce underwater robots used for retail and for maintenance. And so if you look at their costs, we're talking about three founders who spent about 100 days over the last couple of years to develop it. They had costs uh, to set up an office. They had costs to buy a 3D printer and other miscellaneous costs. And if you tote it up, you're looking at something like 400,000 euros of total costs accumulated. So that's the first part of the valuation equation. The second part is regarding milestones. So these milestones can be either three types. They can be financial, they can be technical, and they can be marketing milestones. So let's take the example of uh, this case of the uh, underwater robots. In this case, they've achieved a financial milestone, which is they got a European Union grant, some financing to help their startup go ahead. And that will have benefits, for example, that it will reduce their cash burn. So that's a financial milestone. They've achieved a technical milestone. They've built several prototypes which are functioning. So that's a technical milestone. The third technical milestone is that one of their prototypes was given to a potential customer and this customer used it, tested it according to their own methods and came back saying it was a robust product. And if they were produced in sufficient number, they'll be ready to buy it. So the product is tested by a customer. So that's another milestone on the technical side. Third area of milestones is on the marketing side. So the company uh, approached several potential customers and got 20 pre-orders. So 20 customers have given them written orders saying, if you produce this product according to my specs, I'm ready to buy it. So pre-orders is another important marketing milestone. A second marketing milestone is that the uh, company did a very detailed market study with customer surveys and has segmented the market and has a pretty good idea of what the size of the demand can be. So that's another marketing milestone. 
So if I add up all these marketing milestones, that gets me to 1,250,000 uh, 1, euros, to which I add the 400,000 co of costs incurred, and it gives me a total valuation of 1.65 million euros. So there you are, a simple method to value your startup without using forecasts.